Hello and welcome to another MetaQuest Pro video. In this one, I'm going to show you Meta Horizon Workrooms. So this will be a direct comparison to Immersed VR. And spoiler alert, I do think it is better. So first of all, it's asking me to you know redraw my desk because I was actually sitting on the sofa. Now I'm on my desk because I'm recording on the computer. So redraw desk. Okay. Okay. This is the overall desk. Yeah, uh, desk height is fine as well. Confirm. Okay, so use desk. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my laptop over a bit. There we go, and I'm ready. So yeah, here we go. Here is my desk. So one of the things that you can do is we can press this desk pass through and it shows uh, like a little pass through of our desk and I can see the keyboard so it's just a great way honestly the quality probably is it's is gonna look better you know for you than it is for me if you do the opposite way around for stuff where it's better for me and it doesn't look as good for you but it's not the best quality but it's probably enough just to you know get your hands on it and you know just reorient things but like that's H that's Q that's P just to you know reorient reorienting to your hand and maybe if you have something else as well possibly if you have a drink there so that's a great way of me trying to again you won't eliminate it but trying to make sure you don't knock over something that you shouldn't be okay so let's get rid of that and today if i have a meeting blah 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 rooms i will show you that soon personal office so i can change the office to lobby bright I'm not a big fan of this one or the dark or i can go full pass through and i can just see my room and some shelves are put up. The Lego DeLorean is underway of being built. Probably another few more days. Just doing a little bit at a time. And okay, so let's go back to Lake's cabin. And one of the other things you can do is press computer. I've already connected. To connect, go to oculus.com forward slash desktop. It'll ask you to download a remote desktop application. Simple to set up and install. Do that. Once you've done that, if you do want a guide on how to do that, let me know and I'll create a guide for that. Then you can, you know, come back to here, make sure that's open, click connect. And there we go. It's connected to my MacBook. And if I was to click this, I can you know, start using it. So let's actually start using it. If I click, let's say plus here, yeah, we'll add another desktop there. I just touched the mic. <laughs> And if I click plus, you add another one there. It's a little while, but okay, so there's the third one done. I prefer the overall quality and the feel of this than immersed VR. So let me show you something. If I was to, I'll, I'll close this a second. I don't want to close it yet. So if I open up, sublime, doesn't really matter. Open this up. If I was to open one of these, if I click one of these, you'll put this one at the front and center one. If I click this one, you'll put this one as front and center. Okay, so now if I just click off here, do, there we go. So I'm just gonna put my controllers here. So I can, it's another great thing, I can see what the controllers are. Um, yeah, so it's picked up my hands now. And I could, you know, start doing some more work. So let's just write a basic HTML document. In terms of the input lag, it's pretty good to be fair. The, is the lag? Hell yeah, but it's not too bad. In terms of the clarity of the text, yeah, it's pixelated. I mean, yes, I can see the pixels, but I could definitely work in it. I wouldn't, and I'll get onto that soon why I wouldn't, but it's not due to the quality of the image. And that wasn't even the case with immersive VR, why I wouldn't, to be fair. And if I put title, and I'm gonna say Meta Quest Pro Horizons Workroom Test, and for the body, I'm gonna put a H1 and say. 
Hello, meta this. Okay, so save that. Save it onto the desktop. That's fine on unentitled. There we go. I'm gonna open up an instance of my browser. Open this up. There we go. We have got this working. I checked out a bit of YouTube as well to just to see how that was like in terms of quality. More than watchable, to be fair. So that was good stuff. So yeah, that's all pretty cool. And obviously I can you know, take it over to a different desktop as well. And okay, so I'm gonna go off this mode because there's a lot more features that we can have a look at. So if I go off this, I'm going to go to computer, disconnect. So before going to the other features, let me talk about why I wouldn't use this or Immerse VR as my you know primary desktop. I know you get a lot of people on YouTube saying, you know, I replaced my desktop with you know the MetaQuest Pro. Trust me, they did not. They tried it out, but that that's as far as it goes. And the reality is it's not that comfortable, you know, like on your head, for example. And so, so there's that aspect of it. And I, I I think that's the main one. It's the comfortability. To for, for me, and I've read a lot of other people moaning. It just it's just not, just not that comfortable after a while. And uh, after about half an hour or so, for me, it's a bit too much. And I'm a guy that played you know Half Life Alex for one two hour sessions at a time using using the Valve Index and the HTC Vive Pro. If it felt as good as the Valve Index, that would be a different matter. But unfortunately, it doesn't, and it's almost twice uh, probably. That's 60% of the price. I mean, 60% extra in the prices. So if we go to home, so this is the other thing I want to show you. If we go to, so today if there's any meetings, but I don't have any, I mean, I don't have any things that can hook onto here. And if I click this test workroom, so this is the one where you could have other people sitting with you. You can have a whiteboard, you can talk to them. Your facial expressions will get shown if you have a MetaQuest Pro headset. So let me show you that now. So it's, so it's just loading, it can take a bit of time to load. Okay, here we go. Uh, acknowledge. And so yeah, that is me. I can, you know, open, you know, notes if I want to. So I could, you know, connect this up. So that's pretty darn cool as well. So if I want to have some notes, if I want to do whatever, I can even share the screens, a lot of stuff. I'm going to go back, I'm going to go off this, disconnect, and stick with the room. And in the, I can customize the room. So if I want to more of a, like let's say, this type of meeting layout, presentation, breakout groups as well, which is pretty cool. If I wanted to change position, let's go to the change seat, you use the that button there with your middle finger. Just, just sort of tilt the controller up like that. That's the best way. And I say if I want to go there in that presenter seat. So I'm meant to be the trigger finger. Now I can present to this, you know, breakout group. There could be somebody over there or a bunch of people over there. I can, you know, change the theme as well. You will change everyone's environment. Which is nice, so it keeps it, you know, consistent. See the beach villa. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna stick with OG. And I'm gonna go back to the conversation one. That's the one I prefer. Okay, and I'll, I actually want the seat. I'll be the go. Oh, do I want the other seat? Yeah, I prefer this one. I'll probably be the guy that would, you know, get into the room first. Just so I can have one of these seats. <laughs> okay, and you can go to the whiteboard. I'll show you that momentarily. In settings, you can see the avatar. I'm closing my left eye, which corresponds to my right eye, and vice versa. Both of them, I'm looking around now. So it's a lot more expressive. I can, you know, click this button, and now it's not picking up any facial expressions. Hello? So even though when I'm talking, it actually does move the mouth, it's not, so I got my mouth, 
very open then it's not relative to how my mouth is it's just saying okay i'm talking so it's gonna create some sort of facial expression relative to you know what i'm doing which is talking but not the actual expression so it's blinking on its own so this is so this is how i was actually talking uh, and and do stuff like that so as you can see it's a fair bit different whiteboard and desk so you can reset the desk reset the whiteboard i haven't been able to get the track keyboard working if anyone else had to do that let me know and I, again i'm going to continue looking at that okay so in the so you're going to connect to the computer so the big thing is i'll say the whiteboard so if i go to whiteboard and it says move position whiteboard behind me i'm going to go to Okay, so can I have it there? And I'm happy with that. So I don't know if I'm going to down there or can't. I'm going to keep it there, confirm position, continue. Okay, so this is what I was just doing before. Let me just the whiteboard, create. Okay, so what we can do, if we turn it around, it becomes like a pen. You don't need the, that little stylus stick on it, so that's pretty cool that you don't actually need that. So if I select white, do that. Microphone, just go on to it. Not too bad, my handwriting real nice is not the best. I can, you know, click on sticky note, move that lesson down here. Now, what I can do is write in here, oops, tasks. And let's write some tasks like cooking. And we've got garbage, so taking out the garbage. And study. And I can just turn it around using next thing there and move it over there, for example, which is pretty cool, a bit too far. Put it over here. And I can raise using this. Mm, you can add images, you can move the microphone if you want to at any point. You can undo as well. So I'll leave that. So that is really cool. So let's go back to the pan. So for the green. This is the here. Uh, let's do a pie chart. Yeah, and I'll be able to write something about the same mistakes. So wages, I think it's a breakdown of expenses. This is what's keeping us hello. This is equipment. So what really helps with the writing is that when the actual pen touches the virtual whiteboard, it, your control is vibrating, and as a result, you get in that feel of like, okay, now it's time to do the motion. Instead of, instead of being like, oh, am, am I you know, there yet? Now it's vibrating. Now we know. And I'll call this one. Jesus. So you can see it actually shows what it is at the bottom. And I'm now on the pen. Now I can do this if I'm doing tick, so let's say I'll do this one, I'll do this one. And so yeah, and this is going to be like cool. And then we'll go back to desk. There we go. Continue. And now I'm back at the desk. So that's a so I can go back to the desk whiteboard. So this is pretty cool. Where I can actually 
Okay, that's fine. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so I just need to insert the stylus tip. And I've got it right here. Yeah. And continue. So I think it's all right here now. That sound you're hearing is just literally it on the desk. So this is a pretty cool way of doing it as well. You get all you know the features you can zoom in. So if you want to go a bit more no the actual desk and yeah, the way it sounds the stylus actually makes it sound like you're on some sort of you know pad i guess you could have some sort of big paper here and you know continue drawing that's fine i'll zoom out You can, you know, pan, let's say for pan over here, if I want to change the color to red, and I'm going to say, today's tasks, I'm going to say, it's a lot faster to do it on a desk like this than on the whiteboard, but obviously that's bigger, this is more like personal analysis, somebody's presenting or you're watching a video, there's a bunch of people over there and there. And what were the other tasks? No garbage. Let's go and do, you know, green bean. And studying. There we go. And I can get rid of that. So if I want it back, boom. If I want the desk pass through, I've got that again. So that's a great way of saying, okay, you know, every, everything's clear. It's just my mouse, which is fine. Back to the desk whiteboard. And that's pretty darn cool. So that's pretty much the features, you know, available in Horizon's workroom. Right now, I don't have anyone else with me. What I'm going to do is take a bit of persuading and get my wife to, you know, put on the Quest 2 or even the Quest Pro, don't really mind. And she'll also be in the room so you can test. So we'll be able to see the facial expressions of each other, talking with each other, interacting, maybe doing some sort of scenarios where we're doing some sort of, you know, mock work. And just to see how that goes. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Feel free to join the Discord group, over 8,000 members. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what MetaQuest Pro video you would like to see next. Bye-bye.